Hey world, here I go again, talking about how I feel about drug dealers. How do you feel about drug dealers? Personally, I've known a lot of drug dealers during my time, or I'm just going to say people who hustle marijuana, that's what I'm going to say. People who hustle marijuana. I know a lot of those people. Um, Criminals? I guess that's how it's supposed to be since... The government's not getting their cut of everything. Kind of like a bake sale. The government's not getting their cut, so they're upset and throwing these people in jail. They're criminals. I, I can understand that. I, I can understand that. Sometimes it does get out of hand with hustling marijuana. Sometimes people want their money right away. They want the fast way, and they want more, and then they start messing with white and all this other shit. I ain't got time for none of that shit, personally. That's not my thing. Um... But how I feel about them? Damn how I feel about I don't... I'm real iffy. I really... Because these are people too. And a lot of the people that I know that hustle marijuana, they're real cool people. Uh, um, I guess that makes me an associate. I guess that's a bad thing. But I'm going to bud to the school. I don't really give a shit about those people. I'm going to be selling my shit legally. And that's just the way it's going to be. But as far as drug dealers hustling marijuana, <laughs> damn, I really don't know. How do you feel about it? Like, I I don't know. I, damn, why, don't, why am I always torn on these things? I really don't know how to feel about it. To me, it's just something that it happens. What the fuck? Like, I think, damn, I really don't. I really don't know this one. Is Drug dealers really aren't really a bother to me. I don't have that problem in my neighborhood. And like I said, I know a lot of people that do hustle marijuana. And these people are good people just trying to make a little bit of money. So, I don't know. <laughs> I guess hit up the comment box. Tell me how you feel about it. I know to decriminalize, we're going to have to start with the whole hustling marijuana point blank period. Check out Oaksterdam.com. It might be an org. Just Google it. Oaksterdam, Richard Lee doing his thing. He got a school. But attending, I will be there. At, they have some in a couple other states now, too. I'm pretty sure. But, yeah. I'm going to bud attending school. I don't have to worry about none of that. So, you should go, too. So, I was watching this guy the other day on YouTube. This, this guy, he's like, oh, my God. All my friends sell pot and they're good people. Don't hate on us. And it's just like, at this point... If we're trying to get the shit legalized, we got to be better than our parents were. And that was apparent because <laughs> he was just off, he was off in a motherfucking deep end. Like, he was just, like, saying that shit was cool. Like, one of my friends' father got arrested for growing plants outside like it was just cake. And it's like, yeah, you are in the middle of nowhere. Literally, he was in the middle of nowhere at farmland just growing these plants. And he got caught. And it's just like, we got to be better than this. Yeah, the plant should grow naturally shit is a natural growing plant you don't have to do anything to it it should but right now we're we're fighting a real big force like i don't know if y'all know but u.s is the bully on just drug period like no that's no if they say no no that's how it goes like we're fighting we're going up against that bully that was in high school i ain't had one of those because i was a bully myself but we're going to get something that's a big force and then we we lost the fight before we lost i'm going to say we lost because our parents lost i mean it wasn't federally legal and that's what we're aiming for so we got to be 10 times greater maybe 100% greater than the fight that was before to get what we want so we can't be taking little dumbass slips and falls we got to really have a plan go in there and get it